What's up, everybody? Brothers, sisters, psychonauts, and seekers of truth. It is Anonka, and welcome to my bazaar. Today, I'm going to be reading The Awakened One from the Dhammapada. With all that being said, let our story begin. He is the conqueror who can never be conquered, into whose conquest no other can ever enter. By what track can you reach him? The Buddha, the awakened one, free of all conditioning. How can you describe him in human language? The Buddha, the awakened one, free from the net of desires and the pollution of passions, free from all conditioning. Even the gods emulate those who are awakened, established in meditation. They live in freedom, at peace. It is hard to obtain human birth, harder to live like a human being, harder still to understand the Dharma, but hardest of all to attain nirvana. Avoid all evil, cultivate the good, Purify your mind. This sums up the teaching of the Buddhas. Cultivate the patience that endures and attain nirvana, the highest goal of life. Do not oppress others or cause them pain. That is not the way of the spiritual aspirant. Do not find fault with others. Do not injure others, but live in accordance with the Dharma be moderate in eating and sleeping, and meditate on the highest. This sums up the teaching of the Buddhas. Even a shower of gold cannot quench the passions. They are wise who know that passions are passing and bring pain in their wake. Even celestial pleasures cannot quench the passions. They are true followers of the Buddha who rejoice in the conquest of desires. Driven by fear, people run for security to mountains and forests, to sacred spots and shrines. But none of these can be a safe refuge, because they cannot free the mind from fear. Take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, and you will grasp the four noble truths. Suffering, the cause of suffering, the end of suffering, and the noble eightfold path that takes you beyond suffering. That is your best refuge, your only refuge. When you reach it, all sorrow falls away. One like the Buddha is hard to find. Such a one is not born everywhere. Where those established in wisdom are born, the community flourishes. Blessed is the birth of the Buddha. Blessed is the teaching of the Dharma. Blessed is the Sangha, where all live in harmony. Blessed beyond measure are they who pay homage to those worthy of homage, to the Buddha and his disciples, who have gone beyond evil, shed all fear, and crossed the river of sorrow to the other shore. <laughs>